A New Orleans minister who spent a lifetime saving souls now has a new mission, saving people's lives through better health. But first he had to save his own. In tonight's Weight Loss Wednesday, Meg Ferris has the story of how he lost half of his body size all on his own. I put a leg in the thigh, yeah. At her House of Faith non-denominational ministry, Prophetess Christiana Ford feeds the homeless every Monday. I'm feeding these people uh, soul food. It's in the best right, red beans and fried chicken in the city. After losing his church in Hurricane Katrina, Reverend Raymond Brown is there to help. This is the red beans. There's food to cook. What you see right now is um, a free clothes giveaway for the homeless. Donated clothes to hand out and souls like Steve's to be saved. I was running the streets real hard. Young brothers, I want y'all to put them guns down and pick them Bibles up for number one. Y'all is our future. So we just say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you right now for this. And while Reverend Brown is there to help, he won't be eating the food he prepares. Well, I don't eat soul food anymore. I don't eat sweets no more. I don't eat candy no more. I don't drink cold drinks no more. I just drink water. I haven't drunk. I don't even drink orange juice. You see, not long ago, Reverend Brown weighed 400 pounds. His waist was 58 inches. It's just the culture of the, of the community, the food culture. There's nothing, there's, they don't teach you nutritious food. So I ate the, the, the chicken, the Popeyes, and the McDonald's and all that, not knowing it was destroying my insides and it was gonna catch up with me. And it caught up with him in a very dangerous way. Type two diabetes was destroying his kidneys. Well, they asked me to go on to dialysis. Yeah, my doctor asked me to go on dialysis. And I decided that, you know what? I can't go on dialysis. It scared you? Yeah. This is the food that I eat every day. So five years ago, he shed 65 pounds by cutting out the type of food that sends a diabetic's insulin soaring, causing extra fat storage in the midsection. I stopped eating pastry completely. No donuts. Then by a chance meeting one day in 2017, Reverend Brown saw me in a park and made a promise to me that one day he'd be on Weight Loss Wednesday. You was the epitome of health. And when I saw you, all I could see is a, a woman that controlling her weight. And you looked so good, and I say, wow, I'd love to be like that. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes. We all struggle. <laughs> <laughs> but that promise really was a commitment to his health, future, and life. I was so big, I used to just, like, I can be walking and pass out and wake up. That's how the weight was so much. Financial constraints meant that he had to lose weight on his own. He used uh, uh, Dr. Google and avocado. books to learn about nutrition. Okay, avocado meal is good for your health, okay? There's no eggs in here, so the cholesterol is not here, okay? The yellow egg and, the, and mayonnaise is bad for your health. He cut out seafood, meat, salt, sugary foods and drinks, white bread and starches. He eats egg whites and almond butter for protein. He eats vegetables and good fats and olive oil and avocados. He eats oatmeal and cinnamon and limits fruit. It takes sacrifice and dedication. This is how I eat. You gotta get used to eating it because it don't have, it don't taste like no poor boy salmon. For exercise, Reverend Brown started walking around City Park, gradually speeding up to what he calls a trot. 180 pounds came off. Yeah, yeah, His blood good. sugar is better controlled. My doctor say, wow, you amazing. It's amazing. It inspired me to lose weight because I was uh, wearing uh, a 22. Uh, I got off most of the meat. And now I am, believe it or not, I am in a 14. Yes, it works. His, his recipe works. LSU health, weight, and exercise expert, Dr. Melinda Southern, says people are successful in weight loss when they have an internal motivation, which was Reverend Brown's kidney health, and his external motivation was being on Weight Loss Wednesday. Having a goal like that and being accountable to another person is a great way to get yourself started on a weight loss program. Training his muscles and cutting sugar and starches out of his diet 
helps his metabolism and makes him not feel deprived. You're not going to be as hungry if, you know, if, you, if you're eating the right kind of diet. When you're putting added sugar in your diet, remember, it triggers hunger. How's your life changed since you lost all that weight? Well, uh, uh, people don't recognize me. They say, that's you? Brown? You don't look the same at all. I was that 400 pound where everybody looked at and wrote off. Look at me now. For Weight Loss Wednesday, I'm Meg Farris. Reverend Brown looks so healthy. He still has 30 to 40 pounds to lose to get to his goal weight, though. He wants to help other people lose weight, too. And he's asking for anyone who needs help to contact him on Facebook. All right, I love that. He's giving me motivation. Yes. All right, Reverend Brown, I'm proud of you. <laughs>